All right, y'all. We're back. You're back. And the wits are back. We are here with uh, the Wit family. They're my farming family. I felt like I should introduce them to you guys because they did go over to Donovan and Jacinta's little gathering that they had the other day. This is Mrs. Wit, Siobhan. Isn't she cute? She's just a little doll. Then you have her husband, Branford. They have two little kids. Two little babies. This is Bryce. They're toddlers. And this is, I believe his name is Brixton. Yeah, little Brixton. Now, they just moved out here, y'all. They just acquired this house. Um, Branford's dad was a farmer. So, he's going to be trying to take over and do farming like his dad. So he's got a couple of little projects out here where you see these little seeds. He's got to get planting. But they did build this house on the lot. They inherited the lot. They didn't inherit a home. So they had to build a home for themselves. Because the father had some things planted out here. But when he died, all of the plants and vegetables, they, they were not taken care of. And it took like Branford like a whole year to go through this freaking estate process. So in the meantime, all of the vegetables and everything died. The land's still good. It's still fertile. It's got good soil. So he can build on it, y'all. It's just, I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> That's why they don't have no nothing planted already, okay? And Branford doesn't, you know, because he wants to be a farmer, he, that's all he's going to do. He's going to take care of the kids, and he's going to farm. Now, his wife, she actually is employed as a farmer because she wanted to learn about the business of farming. So she wanted to get a job as a farmer. So she works on someone else's land during the day and comes home to her own land at night. Now, it's probably going to be useful her having that farming background. She can help Franford do research and things of that nature when they need to on the plants when they start growing or their vegetables when they start growing, rather. I won't be having them do plants. Eventually, if they do get big enough, they plan on doing fizzy drinks and, you know, uh, selling honey, all that type of stuff that farmers do. But right now... They're just getting started and they only got $173 because they had to build a house on this land to even live on it. They have two little toddlers, as you can see, so they're kind of like strapped for money. The house isn't anything elaborate. I did build it myself. Um, I couldn't really furnish it like I wanted to for them because they're broke. So they understand they're going to have to just work to get this stuff together, okay? That's all they can do, y'all, get your stuff together. Because <laughs> it's pathetic, okay? Um, Let me see what else. Basically, uh, Siobhan is kind of quiet. She doesn't really have, like, oh, she late for work too, y'all. Let's let her go to work. Because, child, she needs to go to work. <laughs> Somebody got to make some money around here until these these vegetables start growing. Um, here, let's see. Let me click on her. I'm in live mode, ain't I? All right, let's see here, y'all. We need to make her go to work. How do we make her go to work? Because she's missing work. So, go to work, lady. Bye-bye. All right, and then we're going to just do that. Branford, can you get these going? Plant it, please, honey. Can you um, plant these? Open the seed packets up and see what y'all got, what y'all can plant. Okay, you got one more, dude. He got the kids outside with him and everything. Because, I mean, they don't have a nanny. They don't have money for a nanny, okay? So, let's see what you got, friend. Because we're going to have to start planting this stuff right away, y'all. 
So we got some sage, we got basil, we've got spinach, some french fries. <laughs> they not about to plant the french fries, y'all, but he gonna plant these, uh, these other vegetables. He gonna get them going, cause shh, we need to, we need some things, okay? Um, what is this? Basil, plant a little bit of that. Like I said, the kids are outside enjoying themselves. Might as well leave them kids out here because you already know how I feel about them chillings, okay? <laughs> Y'all know. I'll be like, oh, Lord, it's kids involved. But, you know, they already toddlers, so we ain't got to raise them except for, you know, we'll see. Maybe Siobhan won't be like Jacinta. You see what I'm saying? Maybe she will be different. I don't know, y'all. Look at him playing with his little kids. Okay, come on, apples. Act right now, apples. Child. And this little town of Brunson Bay, as y'all can see, it's, um... It's right by the water, so they should have... Oh, it's starting to rain, too. Ooh, Branford, hurry up. Okay, I'm sorry, Branford. You're going to have to plant this stuff. And these kids are going to have to go inside, okay? But you're going to be planting, so... I, I don't know. They might want to play out in the rain. I don't know. Like, regular kids get sick in the rain, so you may want to... Uh, Take your little chillings inside. But this is a good time to plant because it's raining. So we got to do this. Especially before uh, fall. We want this to be planted because it's still spring. I'm not sure what's... Let's see. These might be good during the spring. The spinach. I'm not sure. And, but I think he has some cabbage and potatoes and stuff, but y'all, he might not want to be out here in this rain because he already got his kids out here. I'm so sorry, dude. I didn't know it was going to rain like this, Branford. I'm sorry, okay? You know. I could make them go inside, but they look like they're having fun. So anyway, like I said, his wife's kind of quiet. Um, come on, Bradford, finish doing what you're doing. Yeah, see these say summer and fall. The uh, he laughing. What's your little brother doing? He's just standing there looking like, what the heck? Come on over here, little boy. What is you stuck? Come here. Oh, no. Yeah, come on over here with your brother. Oh, the other one got a stanky diaper. That's why he over there. He want his daddy to change him. They're twins, y'all, if y'all haven't noticed. That, uh... Brixton and Braxton are twins. So, you know, they some cute little kids, but you already know. Like I said, y'all know how I feel about these babies. I cannot stand taking care of little kids, especially when they holler. But maybe, them, you never know. Maybe they won't be like um, the rest of them. Maybe they won't be like these other kids. Because these other kids, oh Lord, is a lot of work. And see, they got to plant and farm. They don't have time to be doing a lot of things. But I just want to get this stuff planted, child. And I was not expecting it was going to rain. But I should have known because it rains a lot in this town. 
I mean, it just like it loves to rain in Brindleton Bay. It loves to rain. These kids stink. They need baths. They need to be on the potty. This little boy over here is making a complete mess. You know what? We ain't even gonna deal with that right now because we gotta get this stuff planted. Like I said, I don't know exactly. Some of these things may sprout, like these grapes here. That's a fall vegetable. The catnip. I don't know what, what when that is. Sage. It doesn't have a. And basil is summer and fall. So okay. So the basil, you know, we got a lot of that. The grapes, we don't need to plant. We don't have to necessarily plant them right away because they're not going to be doing much. Um, I mean, it, it did rain good enough, y'all. It just, you know. Where is the other little baby at? The one that's not bad. <laughs> Look, he done went on the toilet. He's trying to potty himself because he know he stinks. So, I mean, you know, some kids just kind of grow up kind of fast. Look at him. He wants to watch TV. He wants to play a tablet game. He wants to ask his daddy for a drink. For real. I don't blame him. Get this little boy. Pick him up. Yeah, you see him making that mess? Pick his butt up. Alright, y'all. So let's go into this house so y'all can see what their little home look like. It's kind of sad, y'all, because it's not done. Like this part right here is gonna be another bathroom. Okay? But it's not. Finally, they got some money. Um they mama brought home $613. So, she loves being outside. It says, fresh air. Tell a joke. She wants to, woo, in a bush. Bush, y'all don't even have a bush. She wants to buy a bee box, which will probably be good for them. Um, Their little house, though, is a lot to be desired. Like I said, they got just basic needs right now being met. Where's your honey at, dear? Do you see her? I don't see the mama nowhere, so I don't know where the mama at why she's not coming in the house i i don't know i tried to get this little baby to come inside you know it's always one child that's crazy so i don't know he needs to go inside though and where the mama is i have no idea and the daddy's just standing here looking like what in the heck and he wants to chat with her, but um, where do you see her? Do you see your wife that you can chat with her? Do you know where she's at? I don't think you do. So, whatever. They don't even have a little TV, y'all. They just say it. I might buy them a TV, but right now, they don't have anything. They're just, they're kind of broke, y'all. They just, uh, like I said, I don't know where the mama is, but... <laughs> Apparently, she brought some money home, but I don't know where she at, unless she's visiting or something. He's just sitting here. Yeah, why don't you go do something with your child? Play with your child or something. I don't know, Brantford. I don't know why you keep getting up standing and looking. I have no idea. Why don't you go teach him some stuff? Talk about his day. Uh, play with him something, you know? Cause I don't know, child. This other child is up here making a mess. I mean, y'all need to do something with these kids. These kids is like getting unruly. This is ridiculous. He done made a mess in his room. Now y'all already know. Mama, Mama, Siobhan, come talk to this boy about making this dang mess. Like seriously, and apparently he can he can um, 
go up and down the stairs because I had to redo somebody's house because their kids couldn't get up and down the stairs. And it was one of these pre-made houses that I had downloaded, so. I mean, she looking kind of pissed, y'all, that she got to do that, but whatever. I'm so sorry, lady. I mean, your child made the mess. Go clean it up. So, we don't want the mess. So, anyway, y'all. Siobhan, let's see what other skills she has and what she needs to do for her gardening. She needs to plant something three times, which she already did. Weed or water plants ten times. She's done that seven times, so she got three more times to do that. Now she's been promoted to a soil sifter, because she was a dirt digger. She got to harvest vegetables. That has not started yet. Um, let's see. She might be able to harvest some from here. I guess not. As you can see, Branford is the love of her life. She does have relationships with the other people in the neighborhood a little bit. Marcella, she's a little close to him. But she, nobody's really that close to Jacinta. I mean, a <laughs> little bit to Donovan. Cassandra and Devon, she don't really, you know what I mean, she don't know them all that well. But we'll start improving, though. She's got a lot of skills, though. Cooking, fishing, gardening, mischief, parenting. Even video game, like she's got a lot of little skills, but like I said, they're kind of broke. <laughs> so you don't want to cook, honey. So you need to make some food. You need to well get some leftovers. Apparently, you got leftovers in there. Um. So he wants to learn to talk. And this baby's very angry, so I see he's going to be a problem. So, why don't we have Dad feed these kids? Can the toddlers get leftovers out of the fridge? Probably not. Let me see. It would be nice if they could, y'all. If they could open and get food out, I would be so happy. If they could get food out. Um, no. So I'm just going to have Mama cook them something because she wanted to sit down and eat right away. Mm. We're going to have her serve a grilled cheese when she gets done. She's uncomfortable because she has to go to the bathroom. Why don't you go to the bathroom first? Then you can serve them some food. How about that? I'll even allow you to do that. And then you can serve them some food. Because you got to cook food for these kids to eat. They have no food. So you're going to have to. Why don't you make that sounds even better than grilled cheese? Some vegetable dumplings, you know? Brantford, what you doing? Oh, he about to check on him. He wants to learn how to talk. Teach him how to talk. Pick him up. Talk about his day. He's a good dad. See, he loves his kids. It says, send a happy text. He wants to harvest a plant and get to know his wife. So, here. But the kids are hungry, girl. They gonna get cooked if you don't feed them. Okay, now you had enough of that food, child. You need to go and make sure these kids eat. She's feeling some type of inspired, but she does have to go to the bathroom, which she needs to do. She needs to go to the bathroom so she can hurry up and fix these kids something to eat. You know. But maybe the baby took the plate. I don't know. Girl, he might have snatched her little plate like I'm fixing to eat this. <laughs> I'll be weak if he did. 
Let's see, y'all. Because he going to the couch like he got some food. No, he didn't. I would have been laughing, though. I'd have been like, oh, my goodness. That's too funny. Yes. Go to the bathroom. Then come down here and make these folks something to eat. They're hungry. I don't even think Branford could cook anything, so. Um... This baby, why are you finna get that cup? Yeah, he about to get that. No, he put that food back. Why you put it back? Eat it. If you're hungry, eat it. I mean, he's starving. Seriously. He won't eat it, but we gonna put it in there. Mom about to cook. Girl, hurry up. Cause you the only one can cook in this house. Oh Lord, here we go with this bull. Yeah, tell him say no. I'm gonna beat your butt and keep doing it. Tell him, say, I'm going to beat your butt. Here, Dad. Go up here. Go to the bathroom. Branford, come use the bathroom. These kids is hungry and tired, but they more hungry than they is sleepy. Uh, I didn't realize they had these kids, y'all. Y'all already know how I feel about kids. Kids is irritating. They is a lot of work. They are a lot of work in this game because they did not develop them enough for them not to be a lot of work. You know, it's like ridiculous. Get the food, little boy. Grab a serving. And your little brother need to come down here and grab a serving too. Get the food, little boy. Get the food, little boy. No, that's not what you're going to do. You're not going to throw a temper tantrum. You're going to eat the food. The food's up there. Now eat it. Jeez. Now go sit your butt down and eat. Little boy. See, oh, here we go with this again, where they can't eat. Eat it. Eat that food, little boy. Please. Because these kids will get took just from not eating. And it's ridiculous. Girl, what is wrong with you? She probably tired. She didn't work. Ain't nobody worked the job. Oh, she needs some fun. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You don't really have anything in here for a fun. So, why don't you just go to sleep? <laughs> go to sleep. You know, y'all ain't got nothing for fun. I am so sorry. Uh, Branford, come get you a piece of this food. Because these kids is finally eating. I hit the little butt. He's extremely enraged. He's ravenous. He's exhausted. And he needs amusement. He's just all the way toe up. Toe all the way up. Nothing I can do, dude. Just all I can do right now is one thing at a time. So you need to eat. Okay. Did you eat the food? Now you need to go take your little butt to bed. That's what you need to do. I don't know which one is your bed. We're going to make this your bed. Sleep. Go up here and go to sleep. And the other little boy, when he get done eating, he's going to go to bed to sleep. Sleep. Everybody going to go to sleep. No, oh, he exhausted, so he just fell out right there. Nothing I can do about that. Mm -hmm. Go 
both uh, both of the kids and fell out. Brand for like whatever. I might be and fell out in a minute. But uh, yeah. Put this up. So like I said, y'all, this is just the Wit family. Their name of their little storyline will always be Just Wit Farming. Get it? <laughs> Just with farming, and that's what they'll do. Go to bed, little boy. Quit having temper tantrums and go to sleep. I'm not trying to hear it when you can walk up and down the stairs. Go to bed. So, y'all will be getting aged up real soon. Trust and believe that. Branford, you need to go to sleep. Go to sleep. Please, sir. I mean, I know you're uncomfortable, dude, but, you know, you just need to go to sleep. Just like these kids just need to go to sleep. Apparently, she made enough money where if y'all really wanted to get a nanny to help y'all with them dang brats, y'all could. But everybody's going to sleep. Good night. Here, let's put these uh, on auto. That way, their bills don't be crazy high. It's like I said, y'all, my people don't really do eco, but I am planning on making a family for the eco world to do the eco stuff. But I haven't been there since it was glitching out that one time. I mean, that one time was just crazy. I was just like, what is wrong with it? So, I just wanted to introduce you guys to the Wit family. So, now that they're all asleep, you know what it is. You know what time it is. Peace out. <laughs>